Your aim's not bad because you suck. Your aim's bad because Apex is full of mechanics that goes into making hitting your shots so much easier, and you simply don't know anything about them yet. These small mechanics assist you in getting on target, staying on target, and shooting straight so that your recoil doesn't kick up to the sky. What's up everybody, I'm Distra coming at you from the Synergy Apex team, and at the end of this video, I promise you I'm gonna have you guys shooting like the rest of us over here at Synergy. Today we're gonna cover how strafing affects your shot both positively and negatively, and we'll show you the secrets that pros use to make sure that they only shoot laser beams which gets them accused of hacking. Let's hop into it. First things first, I'm on controller but to prove that this is going to work both on controller and mouse and keyboard, I turned my aim assist off for the sake of this video. First, starting off with strafing. We have two basic strafes that can affect your aim drastically. First is counter strafing. This is typically used to make your body more difficult to hit by strafing the opposite direction of the person that you're trying to shoot. You're going to force them to pull their analog stick or their mouse significantly further so that they can stay on target. As well, when you counter strafe, you give yourself the opportunity to use aim smoothing, which is a recoil technique used to smooth and remove almost all of your vertical recoil. We'll talk a little bit more about aim smoothing in the recoil portion of this video, but for now, we're going to use counter strafing as a way to avoid incoming damage. Our second strafe is called mirror strafing, which as you can tell, you're going to use to mirror and copy the same direction that your opponent is moving. The reason why mirror strafing is used so often by controller and mouse and keyboard players is because it significantly reduces how hard your right hand needs to try to stay on target. With mirror strafing, all you need to do is focus on making sure that you copy the same moves that your opponent is making and then make small adjustments with your aiming hand to stay on target. On an input like mouse and keyboard where tracking is very difficult, this makes tracking significantly easier. And for an input like controller where tracking is a little bit easier, it makes tracking with controller absolutely broken. Like look at how easy it is to track right now without my aim assist turned on. Now a comment that I get often is, if I mirror strafe someone, aren't I going to get shot just as much as they are? And even though this is a possible reality, the answer is no. In case you don't know, I've been coaching Apex Legends since season 7 and I've played with well over 2,000 players from across the world. And something that I make sure to teach in every single one of my coaching sessions is that acting is always going to be easier than reacting to something that is happening. This means that if you're about to do something, you know exactly what you're going to do and how you're going to do it and why you're going to do it versus someone who's reacting to what is going on. They have to see what's going on then at the last moment make adjustments based off of what has changed. So if you're counter strafing someone and then you switch to a mirror strafe, that person has to recognize that you are now mirror strafing them and they have to correct their aim for what is going on. Basically, this allows you to get your shot off first and stay on target longer than they can. On a side note, a really common mistake that I see people making with their strafe is they strafe randomly. When you randomly strafe left and right, not only are you making it difficult for your opponents to hit their shots, but you're also making it really difficult for you to hit your own shots. Each time you change direction, you have to account not only for your change, but also for your opponent's change, which means that when you start stacking these together, it can be really hard sometimes to keep up with what's going on. Whereas when you strictly mirror strafe and counter strafe together, you only need to focus on what your opponent is doing and less on countering your own movements. So if possible, don't just randomly strafe. Strafe based off of what you want to do, avoiding damage or hitting lots of damage. Next up, we have aiming mechanics that will affect your recoil control tremendously. By far, the number one used mechanic that pros use is called aim smoothing. Aim smoothing is when we pull our analog stick or our mouse in one constant speed to the left or to the right. And as you can see here, the weapon doesn't really kick up that much. Now, obviously, if you only pull sideways, you're going to come off target very easy. This is why counter strafing comes in very handy with this mechanic. To properly aim smooth, strafe one direction and track in the opposite direction. This might take some getting used to because you're going to need to focus on what direction your opponent is strafing so that you can do the opposite. As well, you'll need to get used to not pulling your stick downward and only to the left and to the right. But if you need a little bit of help, slow down this video and check out my controller display to see how I'm doing it. Next up is pattern control. This is what 99% of the player base uses and they aren't really even doing it right to begin with. Each weapon has its own specific pattern that it follows when shooting, meaning that once you understand what direction it's going to kick up, you can just pull down in the opposite direction to control it perfectly. But if you don't know what your favorite weapon's recoil pattern is, you can just turn on the hit markers in the firing range and shoot a wall to see it. Or if you want instant access to every single pattern, head on over to my Discord server and check out the weapons channel and type exclamation mark followed by the name of whatever weapon you want. That's going to pop up with the little box showing you the damage output as well as what the pattern is. It's completely free and all you need to do is follow a couple steps to get access to the channel. Oh, and my server also has over 11,000 people in it where we have a rank section to find teammates of your skill level. Now with there being over 20 different weapons in Apex, it can be really hard to remember each single recoil pattern. That's why it's important to know that every ammo type has its own general recoil pattern. For example, the light 
weapons like to kick up and to the right mostly versus the heavy weapons like to kick up and to the left. Now, just a quick note, the Spitfire used to be a heavy gun. So if you weren't an OG Apex player back in the day, you may not know that. The Spitfire is still technically a heavy gun. All this basically means that even if you don't know the specific pattern of the gun that you're trying to shoot, you can just follow its general recoil pattern. For example, if I have a car and I didn't know how to pull it exactly down, all I had to do was pull down and to the right, and that is going to help me control the car perfectly or close to perfectly. Now, those are the easiest ways to control recoil in the Apex to get the beams that you've been seeing from all the pro players like the guys here at Team Synergy. But if you want to kick your game up to the next level near instantly, consider making a hardware upgrade. In gaming, pay to win gear is definitely a thing. And that's why I turn to aim controllers to make sure that I have the best movement with their back paddle system and my aim is locked on with the Zero Six Shift aim software that's built into their controllers. If you want to check them out and save 10%, check out their website. Link will be in the description down below and make sure to use code district at checkout. That's all for today. We'll see you guys next week. Peace.